Um, we'll uh, start off with the fact that I first started getting ill in high school, we believe, um, because I was experiencing some depression. But, um, you know, maybe everybody gets depressed in high school, you know, possibly, I don't know. So, uh, I did have some depression in high school, that lifted, and I got accepted to Ohio State. Um, I thought I was going to be okay once I went to Ohio State, but uh, a few weeks into the quarter, I started getting ill again, and uh, ended up deciding I, I was going to have to go back home again. Um, I did finish the quarter in Ohio State, but was not in a good situation at all. Um, so I went, moved back home with mom and dad. Um, I got enrolled at Ohio University Saints so, and was doing well again. I made the dean's list, and again, it looked like everything was going to be happy, happy ending. But I uh, started getting depressed again. Um, after a year or two after the Ohio State debacle, I had my first psychiatric hospital visit at Bethesda. Um, this was the first time we started throwing around the word, the word schizophrenia. Uh, so I tried a bunch of meds um, for the schizophrenia, the meds they now call the, the older meds now, compared to the atypical antipsychotics. Um, so I tried a bunch of these older meds and none worked to our satisfaction. As a matter of fact, they had a lot of bad side effects. So we decided I would try to get off my meds altogether and we would try alternative medicine. Um, so we tried that. It wasn't really our bag. So um, back to psych in 1993. So uh, it was about this time we heard about a new wonder drug called Clozarel. And uh, this was from the new class of drugs, which about the atypical antipsychotics. This drug was a wonder pill for me. I did very well ever since I got on Clozero. Um I went back to Ohio University, which included a university in Athens. I uh, was doing very well, um, which I had a small setback in 96. Um, I don't know those of you who take meds, but now it's much easier to remember my meds because I have the same routine, breakfast, lunch, dinner, same routine every day compared to when I was in high school, or excuse me, college, and you know, you'd have a class at 9 to 11 on Monday and 2 to 4 on Tuesday and 9 to 11 on Wednesday and it was all confusing, so um, I had to have another doctor called it um, a tune-up back in sight, but really since 93 I've done very well. Um, I worked for 10 years at the Beacon Place, the Drop-In Center for the Mentally Ill. I've given over 50 speeches to some of 100 people or more. Um, I was trained to lead, and I did lead Schizophrenics Anonymous groups. I was trained to do the peer-to-peer -peer course, which is to teach the mentally ill about their mental illness, and um, was a part of CQRT, Consumer Quality Review Team, which is where I would inspect where the mentally ill lived and make sure that their needs were met and everything. And I have since gotten two associate college degrees, one from Ohio University, and the other from Zane State, and some scheme tech when I went there. Um, and right now I'd like to make a quick shout out to both uh, Mary Morgan's partial hospitalization group in Zanesville. That did me a world of good, a world of good partial hospitalization on pH, whatever you want to call it. And a quick note about my family. My family would have been a huge help financially, emotionally, and in every possible way. So, in closing, I now lead groups at Bethesda Hospital and the Crisis Center, and am Vice President of NAMI 6 County. And again, as NAMI says, treatment works, people recover, and I'm living proof. Recovery is beautiful.